Thank you and welcome to this week's video. This week we're traveling to Venice to the Galleria dell'Accademia where we are having a close look at Marco uh, Basaiti's painting of the calling of the sons of Zebedee dated from circa 1510. So first of all, the work of Venetian artist Marco Basaiti. He was probably of Greek origin and very little is known about him actually, especially about his origins. Uh, even for some time there was some confusion around his identity and famous 16th century Italian biographer Giorgio Vasari even mentioned two different artists as being the authors for his works. But it's because Marco Basaiti signed his works uh, in very different uh, ways. He sometimes signed as Basaiti or Baxaiti or Basaitus or Baxiti. So uh, he used about four or five signatures, and uh, but it's all basically the same man. Um, and the artist's beginnings, as I mentioned, are rather obscure, but towards 1500, 1510, when the calling of uh, the sons of Zebedee, this painting uh, was painted, Basaiti's style approached rather closely in the manner of Giovanni Bellini, uh, who was active before him. So Bellini, we're looking at sort of mid 15th century, whereas here in this painting, we're looking at early 16th uh, century. And uh, Giorgio Vasari even considered this painting as being one of Basaiti's best pieces. The second point worth noting about this painting is looking closely at the provenance. This painting was a commission for a now demolished Carthusian uh, monastery. Uh, it was produced for the high altar of the Carthusian church of Sant'Andrea della Certosa in, uh, in Venice. And there is an engraving which shows the monastery and what we can see on this engraving are sort of the monks cells which are surrounding uh, the actual uh, monastery and the very architecture helped the monks to combine the solitary life of, of hermits with a common life within the walls of the monastery. Uh, as I mentioned the monastery then got uh, demolished in the early 19th century following the Napoleonic occupation of Italy and this painting then joined the collections of the Galleria dell'Accademia then and it has been commented that the call of the new apostles is a metaphor for the monastic vocation. So a voluntary spiritual incarceration that is also a paradise of peace and contemplation, at least for the Carthusians. So number three, the subject matter. Basati's paintings depicts the moment when Jesus called uh, James and John, the sons of Zebedee, to be his apostles and follow him. And Zebedee was a Hebrew fisherman the husband of, of Salome. James and John were with Andrew and Peter, the first disciples called by Christ. Uh, James was also present at the Transfiguration together with Peter and John. And their calling is actually not so commonly represented. And we're showing here an example by Hans Sus von Kulmbach, uh, which is painted around the same time, this one exactly painted in 1511. Uh, which uh, depicts uh, Mary, Salome and Zebedee with their sons James the Greater and John the Evangelist. Uh, but as I mentioned, it's not really a common depiction in art history. But as a fourth point, let's look at the composition a bit more closely. So the composition is faithful to Mark's Gospel, as in that Jesus is accompanied by Peter and Andrew, the first two apostles. Uh, whom he just called to, to follow him and you can see them flanking Jesus here left and right Then we see James the Greater kneels uh, or he's kneeling before Jesus and he will later become the patron saint of pilgrims Then behind him we have the figure of John the future evangelist who puts his hand on his heart a gesture which we sometimes also find in the representations of the Last uh, Supper. And in the West, John was represented as a beardless young man, such as in this painting. In the East, on the contrary, he was pictured as an old man, bald, uh, with a long, white beard. So this is very much a Western representation. Then looking even further behind him, uh, we see Zebedee, their father, who remains in the boat, and he watches his sons leaving him to follow Jesus. And then on the lake in the background, surrounded by mountains, 
fishermen keep on fishing. So we just see scenes of, of uh, daily life. And as we said earlier, the painting was meant for uh, a conventual church. Uh, and it alluded to the monastic rules prescribing a balance between active and contemplative lives. So in conclusion, we can say, and we can certainly agree with Giorgio Vasari, that this is one of Vasari's very, very best paintings. Uh, and I think the piece also marked the beginning of Vasari's uh, mature uh, period. And especially the size. So imagine this is over 380 centimeters high, so that's 152 inches. So it's more than life size. Uh, so it certainly would have been a very impactful painting uh, when it was uh, delivered and painted. So thank you very much for watching this week's video and we look forward welcoming to our next video. Thank you very much.